Well guys, we got dumped on. We got about, I would say, foot and a half, two feet of snow, and it's January 2nd, and usually we don't get snow this early. It is crazy around here. If I take a look over there, there is Buck's place. It doesn't look like those guys are even up yet. Maybe they're sleeping in or something, but we gotta clear some roads, because uh, we volunteer at the DOT, and they're gonna need all of us today. So, I don't have a car in the garage, but I do have old reliable 72 F-250 and I left the door open, son of a gun. But, I got the plow on it. It's not going to get us too far, like it can't clear the farm, but it can at least get me out of the farm. So I got just a standard western 8 foot plow. It'll work great. This truck, I mean it's been pushing snow for the last 20 years. Hasn't skipped a beat. And so we pretty much got all the equipment tucked inside here. It's tough to get everything inside of this roof, but... I'm going to fire her up, get her warmed up, and then we're going to head over to Bucks, and we got to get to the DOT as fast as possible. It would be cool as heck to get like a, a blade on one of the front of these tractors, but I haven't been able to find one. We can get a snowblower, but so far the snowplow has pretty much handled everything. Okay, let's see what the old 72 can do here. We just need a clear path out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're just going to push this up here for now. Yeah, she's struggling a bit. We got a lot more snow than I thought we were going to get. We'll drop her down see if we can push the rest of this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We could take the roads, but the fastest way to Buck's place is through our farm ground, which we alone, we won't be trespassing. I'm just going to blaze this thing as fast as possible across there, try and keep momentum, because I have a feeling once I get into deep snow, we're just it's going to start bogging us down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear a pathway over there if I don't get stuck here. Give us enough speed to where I can get a good head start, and I'm just going to book it across the field pretty much. So I'm going to clear a nice pathway, get some traction. We're just going to take off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. We're drifting. What do you think this is it? Oh, did you just say Uncle Buck's chair? No, we did not. I'm gonna need a new truck. This heater in this truck is broken. Time, time out, wait a minute. Hold the phone, back the phone up. A General Motors heater is usually the only thing that works in the truck. It's the ACs <laughs> that no, are garbage. No, they don't. No, they don't. Trust <laughs> they're just, they're cruddy heaters, but they're usually the only thing that work. The county, they got some money and they upgraded their trucks. If you guys remember, oh, we did this about a decade ago. We piled snow for the county. Their trucks weren't as nice as these. They got some upgrades. So these are the trucks we're gonna be run. Uh, these are these are like expensive trucks, but don't get me wrong, we're gonna be able to knock out a lot of roadway. Oh, that thing actually started this morning. It was like negative 10, Buck. I got all the way to your place and I watched you bunny hop across the field. Oh, we can go anywhere pretty much with these trucks. Might sneak on down it's to my like farm. We're straight out of Alaska. Yeah. Well, we'll call Captain Buck. You want to lead the way, and we'll fall. I mean, I can. This is the Lizard TLX, made by 82 Studios. It's not technically a branded truck, but this thing is sweet. Okay, Buck, what way do you want us to rotate our plows? Uh, I'm gonna go into a straight V for right now to clear a little bit of a path going out here. But I okay. think if we're gonna be going left. Someone takes left lane. Someone takes right lane. We'll have this thing I'll done by lunch. Okay, I'll take. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You two can start taking the main highway. I'm going to clear towards southbound. Well, well, why don't you go down the middle and we'll, t we'll take left and right sides. You blocked me in. <laughs> okay, boys, let's roll. I'll take the V. Buck, you take left. Nate, you take right. Oh, yeah. It's just working phenomenally not well. What? Are you kidding me? It's working perfect for me. Yeah, we're also cleaning up your mess. Okay, uh -huh. so we're pushing. Buck took my position. He's leading the way. I'm following Nate behind here. We got a lot of snow, like a lot more than last year. Hello? Hey, uh, Grant? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are you at right now? We're, uh, I'm pushing snow with Nate and Buck up here. You got a chance to come and help me out? Where you at? I'm at, uh, just uh, on that road that's right between off the main highway as well as the co op. See, you know, I got the truck stuck in the ditch. And my tires are spinning in the ditch, and I'm on a downhill slide. So if I keep spinning the tires, the thing is just gonna, you know, keep getting more and more embedded in the ditch. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, we gotta finish this pass. I'll be on my way. Uh, 160th Street. Can you see the street sign? No, I'm like halfway down the. Th you know the road that I get, you take to get to the co-op right there, right before you get to the grain elevator. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm right at the top of that hill, but I'm off to the side on the right side, coming from the right lane. 
Okay. I'm a quarter of the way down the hill. I'm just kind of stuck. I know I should have gotten some uh, actual all-terrain tires. Okay, okay. We'll we'll be there, Richard. All right, sounds good. Thank you, sir. Okay, yep. We'll see you. Hey, guys, I just got a call from Richard. He's uh he's stuck by the co-op. What do you want us to do about it? Well, we got to go get him. I just need somebody to come with he's me at least. He's a boy. He can, he can go. I know. I, I'm probably just going to take my pickup truck. Okay, so we're on our way to go over to Richard's. I have a chain in the back of the truck. Now, we could have taken the city truck, but I probably shouldn't be using the city truck to pull out like my buddies. So, we're just going to do the ethical thing. Take my own personal pickup truck on my own time. Pull out our buddy Richard. And I think Nate's gonna meet us over there with the city truck, which I just said we're not gonna, but it's fine. So, the 72 Ford with the plow truck and a chain <laughs> just dragging on the road is gonna get the job done, hopefully. Nate's gonna clear the way. I'm gonna come in with the 72. I prayed here and here for you like three hours! The heck's wrong with you? It, we were coming as fast as put, put on a coat, man. I can't all have one. Oh. Son of a gun. We were coming as fast as possible. How'd you how'd you put yourself in the in the coming ditch? Coming as fast as possible? Yeah. I flew on black ice. I've been here for five hours. You left me here to die or something from hypothermia? What? What the heck's wrong with you? We're, we're, I'm, hey, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Get, get your truck or something. I'll pull you out of here. It's freezing in that thing. I can't start it up. Oh, shoot. Oh, you can't? No. Okay. It's, it's yelled up now. Okay, so we had a, bit, a couple of issues. The tow chain snapped. So we got this winch down at the Harbor Freight. We're gonna hook this thing up to Buck's pink Wait, if I don't get hyper hook. Me up by the end of oh, this. Shoot, Richard's. Okay. <laughs> Richard, what, you steal this from your ex-wife? Why you got a pink tow hook? Well, I had to get me out of here before okay. I get a present. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ooh. I can't help. Come on. My thing's locked. Come on. Richard, can you start her? No, I can't. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm going to my head to the dashboard. Okay, okay, one more time, one more time. Here we go. Then she's not a Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh I broke. You broke the Son thing. of a gun. <laughs> oh. Shoot. Here you go. Oh, no. Get her oh, going. There she goes. There she goes. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking with fire. Okay, Richard. Oh, no. You good? No. I'm freezing. I'm probably got frost, frostbite. Why you did not show up earlier does not compute. You can take my jacket. No, I don't want your jacket. I'm just going to freeze my butt off at home. <laughs> I haven't paid the electric bill in like three months. Okay, so we got Richard dug out of there. We almost had him, and then it snapped, and he was able to start the truck up and pull himself out. So worked good i guess so we're gonna plow this whole farm i actually bought buck a plow a western plow just like this for his truck so he's gonna come over here with his dodge he's got to plow his driveway yet yeah, and ours and the farm backing her up backing her up hope you don't care about snow being in the house okay backing her up. screw it i'm training this thing in for a snow blower okay so we got the snow blower we're gonna clear this i'm just gonna basically well i don't know what way to shoot it it's kind of tough here in the situation we'll just shoot it out there as far as possible and then we'll start flipping back here. I wish we had the animation working where it'd show the snow coming out of there, but I guess it's a multiplayer bug where it doesn't show the snow coming out of the back of it. Okay, we're clearing along the edge of the trailer here. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, we're good. I'd say the thing that sucks about the snowblower, check this out, is you try and go forward, but if you still have it running, it only lets you go six mile an hour. So in real life, you would like fly forward, but it only lets you go six. So basically you gotta shut off the PTO quick, scooch forward, turn on the PTO, drop her down, keep going. We're getting used to it. You do this. Take your good skin steer and just keep pouring the buckets right here in front of your uncle's uh, house. You good, Buck? Alright, uh, Uncle Grant, good luck getting inside to eat supper tonight. Ah, uh, thank ya. I'm sure that's gonna be very tough for this 180 horsepower snowblower to chew through. <laughs> if you can get out. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Now we need to move this drift that came through the front door. Super easy. Oh, yeah. We are done. Got the farm driveway cleared. I'm going to get this inside. We're going to get glow plugs on it because we're supposed to get another storm, and I'm going to get diesel in it, too. Jens, we might have a problem. What's that? What's wrong? I ran the Dodge out of diesel. <laughs> well, we got to go run buck some fuel. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button subscribe check out nate's channel down below link in description thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one